Positive ID on suspect! to explain me this bow. I'm just not the man for the job. What man for job? I don't need you for a job. I need you to tell me what my no good slut daughter is up to. What's the problem? She's a nice girl. I don't want to spy on her. Nice. Shows what you know. If she's so nice, why don't you take her out? She would be a perfect match for you. Uh, right. Let me get back to you on that. Yeah, he mentioned it the other day. Congratulations. No problem at all, Mrs. Chu. Hello, Wei. Thanks for driving me around. Yeah, no problem. So, where are we going? The flower shop. I still have to pick the color I want. You won't believe how much work it is to get ready for a wedding. We've been planning for eight months now, and there's still so much to be done. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, uh, it better be perfect. My wedding has to be perfect. 
So, Wei, do you have a girlfriend? <clears throat> no. You know, my life, it, it wouldn't be a good idea right now. Your life is why it'd be good. You have to have someone you can be soft with, too, Wei. Eh? It's very important. If you're hard all the time, one day you'll forget how to be soft. Then where will you be? <laughs> if you say so. I do say so. You are family now, Wei. I have to look out for you, just like Winston. After the wedding, I'm gonna find someone for you. So how do you get on with Winston's mother? Uh, she's a handful. But, you know, her bark is worse than her bite. That I know. How about her meat cleaver? Ha! That's worse than her bark for sure. No, she used to scare me, but then one day, I was having a problem with Winston. He wasn't paying enough attention to me, too distracted with work. And Mrs. Chu gave him a big lecture in front of the whole gang. I thought she might use that cleaver on him. Ever since then, Winston's been an absolute doll. And even though she still yells a lot, I know her heart isn't the right place. Well, you're lucky, and my mother never liked my girlfriends. I guess it's hard for the moms. Well, I mean, you know, I used to have a thing for blondes, too, and that drove her crazy. Bad enough if I went out with a Chinese-American girl, but, but a whitey? <laughs> well, it's good to know she was loyal to her people. No, she's loyal to her prejudices, more like. That, too? Here we are. Ah, so good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. I'm here to finalize the details of the flower arrangement. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm just the driver. I'm just gonna change back and then we'll be done. Uh, actually, there is one other thing. Black orchids. This probably sounds silly, but it was my mother's favorite flower, and now that she's gone, I was thinking that I'd love to have a black orchid centerpiece. I'm afraid that's impossible. <laughs> there are none to be found in Hong Kong. Really? Well, I thought they had some down at the Garden Temple. Well, yes, but they're not for sale. The other day, the CEO of Old Boy Trading wanted one for his daughter. He told them they offered Temple $100,000. They still say no. <laughs> it's incredible, no? <laughs> a black orchid at a wedding guarantees that the couple stays together for the rest of their lives. Oh, well, Wei, come on. We can go now. All right, next we need to pick up the wedding cake. So you got a cake picked out? Winston's in charge of that. He knows I'm very particular about cakes, but he promised I wouldn't be disappointed. I'm sure Winston will impress me. It's our wedding after all. <laughs> and your wedding has to be perfect. Now you're getting it. So your mother took you to the States? <clears throat> yeah, you know, she loved Hong Kong, but she wanted to give me and my sister a change of scenery. Oh, were you being a bad little boy? <laughs> no, it, it was Mimi, my sister. Growing up in old prosperity, she, you know, she started down a particular road and couldn't get off of it. And my mother hoped that moving to San Francisco would shake her up, change who she hung out with, you know? Did it? Yeah, for a while. But some habits die hard, you know? Some don't die at all. 
I'm sorry, Wei. Winston mentioned that she passed away. I didn't mean to bring it up. No, it's okay, Peggy. You know, it's good to remember where you came from and where you're going. Hey, isn't that a van from the wedding cake company? Hang on. What are you doing? Yeah, the guy, the guy had the wrong address. Winston asked me to make sure the cake is delivered. He's so thoughtful. Ah! Wait, slow down! <sighs> Peggy, if we don't catch that van, you won't have your special cake at your wedding. What? Faster, faster, go faster! He's not pulling over. You're a gangster. Do something. Get out there and get him. My car. My car. Here. Here, take the wheel. Careful, don't hurt my cake. Don't worry. Get that van. Wait. I'll follow you. Are you drunk? You drive properly. Tell Winston I got the... Wow, that's great. I'll take it right to him. All done. Oh, thank you, Wei. Thank you. You know, it makes me think. Uh-oh. <laughs> the wedding just won't be perfect without that orchid. We're going to the temple, aren't we? I knew you'd understand. Do you have any family here at all? Uh, no. Not anymore. Well, you're wrong, Way. You have family. You have us. Thanks. No, I mean it. I know Winston's work can be... rough, but it makes us a family, too. Yeah, I appreciate it. Man needs brothers. Uncles and sisters, too. To help me with that soft side. Don't laugh. It's very important. You know, I could probably set you up if you want. <laughs> you're a good-looking man. Thanks, but, but I'm not looking for anything serious right now. I wouldn't want it to reflect poorly on you. Ah, uh, uh-huh. You're still playing around, huh? Well, let me know if you ever change your mind. I know some nice girls. Wait here, I'll be right back.
What are you doing here? <clears throat> when, it, when energy flows among flowers, we are all everywhere. I, I am here and not here. I um, love flowers. Ah, brother. So true, so true. You don't belong here. Ah, well, what is belonging, brother, when we're all part of the same cosmos? I guess failure is impossible. Hey, who are you? Well, who is anyone? When we are all each other, part of a single great organism that never dies. Ah, brother. So true, so true. You stop right now. You got them? Oh, wait, thank you so much. How can I say no? Peggy, do you have any Winston's clothes in the back? <laughs> I don't think these robes are gonna make the right impression. What do you think about this? Yeah, sure. Oh, thank you, Wei. Thank you. It was my pleasure. And if you're gonna be my sister, the least I can do is help out with your wedding. Your mother would be proud of you. I hope so. Now, sometimes I wonder. No, I can see it. Life isn't perfect, never is. But you have a good heart. Peggy, I... Nope. I know, women's intuition. It's the same with Winston. He talks tough, but underneath he's a very caring man. That's why I love him. Thanks. That's the secret. You do what you have to do, but you always remember your family. Remember the people who love you. 
Then you'll always be happy. What's it like in America? Um, less crowded? I guess. Do you like it better here or there? In some ways, I was more comfortable there, but it wasn't home. It's important to have a home. But I'm not sure. You know, Hong Kong... Home is home. Thanks for being so helpful, Wei. I really appreciate of it. Of course. Sometimes this wedding thing stresses me out. There's so much to get right, and you only get one try. Don't worry, Peggy. It's gonna be perfect. Oh, it's so nice to find someone you can really rely on. I can see why Winston likes you. Trouble. Very, very big trouble. You look like hey, you could use hey. a pork bun. Serve Don't it up. Pie with shame. Good. Hey, you can look better. I promise. Hey, no, yeah. You got to have meat. Makes you strong. Real man. Buys real meat. Why don't you have a pork bun in your me. hand? Come on, take a look. You know you want to. Excellent. Come back tomorrow, man. You picked the best one. Excellent. Come back tomorrow, man. Come back later. I got a whole new shipment coming in. You need more? You come back. Why don't you have a pork bun in your hand? Hello. You look like you could use a pork bun. Oh my god. You look like you could use a pork bun. You're walking around in those clothes. Come on in. I help you. Get you dressed right. Maybe we should just get a cab. Cost too much. I do. Knows how long the bus will take.
I found one of your statues. The boar, an important part of the collection. Did you enjoy your time in the States? It was all right. To have two homes is to have two souls. So they say. What if you never feel at home anywhere? Then I think you must guard your soul carefully, so as not to lose it. What would you like to learn? Again, if you find one of my statues. I found one of your statues. The sheep. This is good. Ever think about going back to the States, I mean? No, it didn't work the first time. Why would it again? And the past goes with you wherever you go. So you will confront the past rather than run from it. Damn straight. I wonder, is the past something we can defeat? Or is it something we simply come to terms with? What would you like to learn? have studied Wu Ju, ancient master of defeat. Chen Chu says, first, push yourself beyond the edge. Okay, that seems impossible. You are the first student I've had who might improve by studying in California. Wu, too much time with your girlfriend. Only abstinence will cure you. And in your case, that might not be enough for the change. You are raining shame on my school. Student is supposed to learn. If I wanted to talk to myself, I'd take a prayer. Please stop by again if you find one of my statues.
Hello? Ah, hello, Mr. Shen. Your vehicles are all good to go. Give me a call if you need something. Again soon. Bye bye. Hey man, I'm stuck in traffic. I'll get there as soon as possible. Don't worry, there's still time. Don't start without me. I'm so happy you can make it. Congratulations. Peggy, you look stunning. <laughs> Thanks, Wei. <laughs> you both must be very happy. Yes. The best day of your life, <laughs> so they say. You know what? They're right. <laughs> <laughs> if you say so. Oh, Uncle Paul, welcome. My guest of honor. I'm happy to be here. It's nice to see someone who wants to be a good family man. Not enough of that nowadays. Hi, 
Hi. You look absolutely lovely, my dear. <laughs> Thank you. Almost as lovely as your mother in law. <laughs> oh, and Mrs. Chu, I expect the food to be. Wait, wait. Fantastic. I got a case of the chairman's favorite wine in my car. I forgot to bring it in. Do you mind grabbing in and making sure they know it's for him? I'm gonna make sure he gets inside, okay? Yeah, sure thing, Winston. You gotta enjoy your day, okay? Where are you parked? Ah, right through there. I'm going, I'm going. Just bring it into the kitchen. Find a way inside. I I'll go get help. Winston! Fuck! Oh shit. Peggy. Got another one! Got another one! Shit. Ah, 
I need them here now! Nobody, ah, you from home, ah. Uncle Po, are you okay? Can you walk? What's going on? What happened to Winston? Okay, come on. We gotta get you out of here. Uncle Po. You're hurt. It's nothing but a little scratch. You look sort of... We gotta get you to a hospital. You're hurt. It's nothing but a little scratch. You look sort of... We gotta get you to a hospital. I think 
this must pay. This is a sacred thing. He's hurt. We need a doctor. Now! What is this? What's going on here? My boy, maybe you'll want to leave before our friends, the police, show up. <laughs> Are you going to take care of my uncle? And if anything happens to him, I'm holding Hello, you personally police? responsible. Oh, thank God. Are we clear? Something okay, okay. Where have you been? Stuck in traffic. It's Hong Kong. Fuck, Raymond. You think showing up for these things is easy for me? I know you've been through a lot, boy. More than we have any right to ask. Now the wedding. Look, it was a massacre, Raymond. A massacre. Winston was a red pole, sure. But his wife, a fucking gunned down his wife on her wedding day. We knew you would become personally attached, Way. It's inevitable in an operation like this. And seeing something like that would be hard. Hard for anyone. It's war now. No, it's not. You're a cop, all right? Your job is to enforce the law. You can't remember that? I'll pull you out right now. Pull me out? Your job was to get close to Winston. Now, that's not much of a strategy anymore. Get close to? Open your eyes, Raymond. I am Winston now. With him gone, I'll be taking his place. You want the chairman? I report to him now. You want the Red Poles? I'm one of them. That's what worries me, Way. You're one of them. You want to give up the best undercover HKPD has ever had? Your best shot taking down the sun on Yi? Exactly. We done? Yeah, we're done. Anything happens to me. You look after my people, okay? Get Peggy out of here. Winston! She doesn't deserve this. No!
Easy now. What the fuck? Ugh. Fuck. No, I haven't seen them around in a while. Everyone in town is talking about the wedding massacre. Hey, what can I do for you? You go enjoy yourself. Thank you for coming. Will you like some tea? All right, I'll take it. Good luck, Wei. The gods are watching. Leave me alone, okay? Don't die, Jean. Huh. What a man you are! Yeah, yeah. 
我要打他了呀！Seen the guy around? No, not for a while now. Shit. How am I supposed to score? Pretty dry up here. You might look for Dirty Ming in the night market. He hasn't been around either.
Can I help you with Sounds good. Please come again. What's the situation? We need you to go up top to get to your shooting position.